Hello again. This is our last special video in which we will review the most important themes and events of chapters 71 through 74 of the second part of Don Quixote de la Mancha. So let's review. The novel's final passages cover a range of topics. We begin with the detailed calculations and contractual negotiations between Don Quixote and Sancho regarding the squire's lashes. Then our heroes arrive at yet another inn. A reflection on art at that inn carries over into the next chapter, where Cervantes again engages with Avellaneda. Through Don Álvaro Tarfe, Cervantes produces another masterful meta-literary encounter that highlights the purely fictional nature of the novel. At the same time, he highlights the theme of the transition from slavery to work. Also, the north-south problem of ethnic conflict in Iberia is present right up to the end of the novel. The Zaragoza to Granada trajectory of Tarfe's journey parallels the final intimate relation between Don Quixote and Cide Amete. We also get one last brilliant mockery of the Inquisition. In the last chapter, Don Quixote recovers his sanity and places his domestic affairs in order, settling his accounts and paying salaries. This is a profoundly bourgeois death. Recall that Don Quixote's madness was not just a matter of military adventurism inspired by the novels of chivalry, it also involved his profound inability to manage his estate. Cide Amete's final statement reveals that Cervantes was quite conscious of the scope of his achievement, which will be read everywhere, in these as well as other kingdoms. And in what remains perhaps his greatest textual gesture of all, Cervantes fuses his voice with those of Cide Amete and his pen, acknowledging that Morisco culture can never be fully erased from Spain. That's all for our review of chapters 71 through 74 of the second part of the greatest novel ever written. Oh my God, we finished. <laughs>